Hi everyone, my name is Imtithal Mahmoud. I'm called Emmy. I'm a Goodwill Ambassador for the UN Refugee Agency, a poet, an activist, and an author. I'm in global health and a scientist by training. I studied molecular cellular developments of biology and anthropology, and I'm a poet. I'm really excited to be sharing with you today and joining you again this year and hopefully again tomorrow. And who knows? <laughs> uh, it just means a lot for me to be joining you. And I wanted to focus on something that's very close to my heart today, which is the idea that we can always get reinvigorated and, and try to go back to what it is that helped us start our path in the first place. This poem is tentatively, tentatively called Quantum and Consciousness. Water in the palm of my hands to cleanse away the sins of the day, to clear a way that I may kneel with open mind and heart on my sparkling rug and tap into something so old and ephemeral, the molecules in my heart and mind reach an elevated state. Sometimes I want to take the sequence from sunrise to sunset and bend it till it breaks, squeeze and squeeze until the very essence of the multiverse comes pouring out over my hands and into a glass the size of possibility. Would I bathe in it or drink it? Would I savor it or dread it? Would it be a salve to soothe the worries, the questions we humans have always strove to answer? Or would it burn the possibly zero Kelvin substance a bit too cold to give away its secrets just yet? Or would it go down easy? like every elegant theorem or postulate that has cleared a path for human thought to travel along. As we make sense of this physical world around us, as we try to reconcile the rules our planet Earth and our little corner of the great unknown afford us, with the curiosity that inevitably comes from within our very selves, as if our entire beings are on a quest for homeostasis, and every advancement in science, every breakthrough, false alarm and triumph bring us just a bit closer to achieving that beautiful thing. What makes a life worth living, if not the wonder? What makes the sky worth seeing, if not the glimmer? Each imperceptible difference, carving a place in the constellations in our consciousness and collective memory, casting an image unique to the beholder, a picture and essence of beauty itself measured by something even more innate than science. When so much is predetermined, I find comfort in the things that are not. When not much can be chosen, I find home in the things that can. The search for meaning gives me meaning, and I live for this. On the tail end of a shooting star, I see the chance to paint a new picture, a bridge between now and the future, where our concept of today is broadened by the openness of tomorrow, where each next milestone helps us hurdle across the continuum we've managed to unlock. Through thought, theory, and practice alone, our visions of today tunneling through the roadblocks of yesterday to give our hearts and minds new power, exciting our entire existence above and beyond the baselines of right here, right now, of the pain and the suffering and the violence that racks this world and makes it nearly impossible to believe in, let alone live through on the hardest days. A new milestone as we become our own era correction overcoming each disturbance from an environment that makes a habit of saying no, and not yet, and try again, and why, and how, and why again, as we make progress on the proverbial road to discovery. Can you imagine a world where our understanding of a few systems can change the course of climate change, helping us forge a path towards a fully decarbonized world, avoiding disaster, where our understanding of how the sun works can help us reverse engineer mechanisms that attempt to shine a light, so to speak, on change itself. And this, this is only the beginning. Personalized medicine for the healers, new materials for the builders, countless opp opportunities for those dreamers among us who want to imagine a world of our own choosing, where we are not limited by the bounds of our bodies or our societies or our systems where we can linearize deep networks literally and figuratively in our minds and in our labs, producing measurable systems of change with impact beyond our most optimistic calculations. 
Let us sway the course of destiny just by defining what could never be defined, measuring what could never be measured, manifesting what our ancestors never dared hope we could manifest. So give me your moments from here on out and send me your passions and your goals and your most unspeakable hopes. Paint me a picture of what it is you dream for this world. You are only one glimmer, one unrelenting light. And I see you and I marvel at the afterglow of what it is we're doing here, what it is we're building here. There are millions of miles to go in a journey that just might be billions of miles long. Think about that for a second. Look at where we are and where we've come from and hold on to that. Find strength in that. My godfather likes to say a river that forgets its source dries up. This is me saying, watch us run and never stop. Watch us revolutionize the bounds of human thought, transforming every possible thing one could care about an answer for every passion as we search and dig and search and hopefully one day find. I can't tell you what we're looking for, what it looks like or what it means, but I can tell you what it will feel like when we find it. Like water in the palm of our hands, its source unbound, its path uncharted, its value unlimited in the eyes of the sharpest minds the heart and humanity unlocked, tapping into something older than the concept of time, than every and any iteration of earth and existence itself. Something so beautiful that words can't capture, eyes can't see, and science still can't measure. Not yet, anyway. This, this is the moment. The moment where I'm always asked how it is that I can wholly believe in something I cannot see. My new favorite answer. Have you ever heard of this thing called quantum? Yeah, it's everything.